With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The angle of elevation of the top Q of a vertical tower PQ from a point X on the ground is 60 degrees. So we have a vertical tower. We have a vertical tower that is P and the top Q. And there is a point X on the ground. Let us take somewhere the point X to be somewhere here from this point. From this point, this is point X and from this point, the angle of elevation to the top Q is 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. Now, next, from a point Y 40 meters vertically above X, the angle of elevation of the top Q of the tower is 45 degrees. So, from point X, there is a point Y that is 40 meters above X. So, there is this point, this point is y and it is vertically 40 meters above x. This distance is 40 meters. So, let us draw a perpendicular and the angle of elevation from this point y to the top q now is 45 degrees. So, this angle is 45 degrees. We have to find the height height of the tower PQ and the distance PX. Use root 3 is equals to 1.73. So, this, this YX is 40. Let us take PX to be A meters. If PX is equals to A meters, then we also get uh, this distance, this Y and this. Let us take this point to be Z. We also get ZY is equals to a meters. Now, if xy is equals to 40, we are given xy is equals to 40 meters. That implies pz is also 40 meters. That is this distance pz. It's also 40 meters. Now, let us take the height of the hill, the height of the tower to be h meters. So, we know the, we are assuming that qp, that is the height of the hill to be h meters. If zp is 40 and the total qp is h, we also get qz that is h minus 40. Now, let us take in triangle qpx, we have tan 60. Tan 60 is the vertical distance that is qp divided by Px, that is the adjacent side. Qp is h. The adjacent side is a. And tan 60 is root 3. Root 3 is equals to h by a. We can write this in terms of a and h. That implies a is equals to h by root 3 or h is equals to a root 3. Now, let us take the next triangle. In triangle qzy, we have tan 45. Tan 45 is equals to qz minus by zy. qz is nothing but h minus 40 and zy is a meters as we already concluded. That implies tan 45 is 1. If we cross multiply a to 1, a into 1 is a, a is equals to h minus 40. We have this equation. Now, in place of this h, we can substitute h is equals to a root 3 in place of this h. Then we will get a is equals to a root 3 minus 40. So if we take all the a terms to one side, 40 is equals to a root 3 minus a. 40 is equals to, if we take a common, root 3 minus 1. So we will get a is equals to 40 by root 3 minus 1. Now, let us rationalize this value. How to rationalize? We have to multiply and divide the additive inverse of the rational number. So, if we do that, we are left with a is equals to 
40 by root 3 plus 1 into this is root 3 minus 1. Yeah. This is root 3 minus 1 into now we have to multiply and divide by the additive inverse that is root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1. So this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. a minus b into a plus b is nothing but a square minus b square. So we will get with 40 into root 3 plus 1 by a square that is root 3 square is nothing but 3 minus b square is 1. So 40 into root 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 2 and this is 20. We know the value of root 3 that is 1.73 plus 1. 1.73 plus 1 is 2.73. 20 into 2.73 is 54.6 meters. Now we have the value of A, A meters. A is 54.6 meters. We are asked to find the distance between Px. So we have the distance between Px as A meters that is 54.6 meters. Now we have to find the H. H is nothing but the height of the hill. How to find H? h is equals to uh, let us take this a is equals to h minus 40 that means h is equals to a plus 40 that is 54.6 plus 40 we get 94.6 meters so the height of the hill is 94.6 meters for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.